Bruce Martin McKenna is an uh, amateur astronomer and storm chaser and has the website nightskyhunter.com and has been chasing a storm on Sunday, which ended up in Derry, and he joins us on the programme. Hi, Martin. How you doing, and thanks very much for having me on the show. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure, because it's very, very interesting. So, I would have associated storm chasing with Middle America or some other area, but it happens here in this country too. It certainly does. Sometimes it can be a long wait, but when it happens, it's usually pretty good and worth going after. Because I, I mean, obviously we get heavy, heavy rain, and you hear the odd crack of thunder and maybe the odd flash of lightning, but to me anyway, uh, living where I do... You know, proper what you would call a proper storm. Uh, they're few and far between. That's correct. Uh, we don't really have the really humid, warm air mass needed to get these really massive storms you get in our countries. But at the same time, this country can really produce the goods when the right kind of setups there. If anybody's interested in storms will know about wind shear and things like that. This country can be very capable of producing a lot of strong wind shear during the summer and autumn months. And if it does you always have a chance of getting some really intense shower, even a brief, severe thunderstorm in the right location. But the trick is to get there and be there at the right time and the right place to catch it. So how did you achieve that on Sunday? Do you follow weather maps, weather patterns? Do you look for certain criteria that you think, right, this could, this, a storm could form here? Absolutely, yeah. I had that day uh, on mine for the four days before. It was on the weather models. I do my own forecasting. And I was ready since half eight that morning when I was up and checking the radar, checking the satellite images, etc., and getting on the road. I actually started off in Dungannon that day and ended up spending about seven and a half hours on the road. Uh, I was with my fiance and we ended up going up to the mountains in Derry, Rainbow and Brada, near the Given. And that's where the initial storm fired. It actually erupted over that mountain, travelled north, we chased after it, and headed up towards Coleraine and eventually to Ballycastle area where it done damage, uh, destroyed our bridge from the flooding. So it was a pretty cool storm. And, and did you realise its potential from early on in that day? Well, the potential was there for storms. The, the thing was they could form pretty much anywhere in the country, so it's very hit and miss. You know, you can never really tell, you know, where they're going to happen. But uh, never were in Cookstown, we could see, if you well, in a clear day, if a storm is developing, there's blue sky, you'll see these updraft towers going up, they big cauliflowers, tall cauliflowers. We've seen these going up in the distance, and that's always a sign that something's developing. So we headed west up the spurs towards it, and we caught it. It looked really good. There was actually rotation underneath it, very, very dark clouds, and I just knew it was going to do something. I didn't need a radar. You know, we could see it. it yep. Just had to keep following it. Um, and and what, what do you do when you're following it? Are you taking pictures? Are you taking video? What, you know, why would you actually follow it? Well, I'm a photographer. I love severe weather and I love dramatic clouds. So for me, it's the photography and the video. Uh, it's at the right place at the right time. And the sun was correct. You get the right kind of storm. You know, for a nice foreground, it can be a really dramatic and stunning image, you know. So for me, that's, that's my drive. And anyway, I want to get dramatic images and great video to document these cool storms when they happen. And then you put it up on nightskyhunter.com. Uh, you've also allowed us to use a couple of these shots of lightning that you got in Derry. This is like street lightning, is it? Oh. Right, this, this is actually called cloud to ground lightning, or CG lightning, the storm chasers call it. Uh, others have known as fork lightning, it's the most dangerous kind there is. That was an accidental catch, actually. We were chasing that storm. It was producing torrential rain. We were located outside Garva, heading north towards Coleraine. And I just happened to switch on my dash cam. I have a camera mounted inside my van facing out the window. I just turned it on, and about two seconds later, these two bolts struck the ground right in front of me. One on one side of the road, and the next on the other side. Uh, it was a really cool catch, actually. It made the day for me. Uh, yeah, brilliant. I'd say, and so what's the difference then? You've described that then, but maybe what we'd be more familiar with would be sort of the, the flash of white in the sky, but you don't see the forks necessarily. Is that just because it's a distance away, or is that a different type of lightning? It's a different type of lightning. There's various types of lightning, but that would be the most common. Uh, the, the one you described is called in-cloud lightning, or IC for short. Uh, the kind of we've seen was cloud-to-ground lightning, or CG lightning, or fork lightning. So CGs are the dangerous ones. Uh, the other kind are within clouds. Sometimes you get them coming out the back of the storm, called cloud-to-air, or cloud-to-cloud. Cloud. There's various kinds, but the CGs are the dangerous kind. Indeed. Now, um... Oh. The, the, the good thing about most people effectively carrying a camera around with them now, we see loads of these pictures of, and, and quite a lot of these funnels uh, around Donegal, obviously not exclusive to here. What causes those? You know, uh, the funnel from the ground up, it looks like a mini tornado. That's correct, yeah. Uh, actually, there was a very nice one called Donegal that very same day, a beautiful capture. Uh, those are called, or well, they're caused by wind shear and wind convergence.
coincidence we get ones from different directions meeting perhaps over like a lock uh, coming off the sea or up a mountain and you get the area the two one directions meet they cause rotation and the draw is doing these funnels from the from the, the storm and are those, those funnels sorry Martin are those funnels drawing up from the ground as well would they be li- would they lift anything uh, well they're, they're fairly weak but some occasion you'll get some kind of surface contact you know maybe something lifted aloft uh, they're pretty weak but at the same time they can turn into uh, tornadoes very quickly you don't need to see the funnel going to the ground for it to be on contact with the ground because part of the funnel can be invisible the condensation funnel so they are important to report and if you see them you know it's worth checking out the area underneath just in case there's been contact okay now skyhunter.com is your website martin you mentioned uh the weather, what's the weather for the weekend? <laughs> well, have you, have you had a look at the uh, forecast? Well, not too much chances in the way of storms anyway, but it's slightly cooler and a little bit unsettled, but not too bad maybe for Saturday. Uh, not too Saturday much rain? Next week. <laughs> what about rain? Uh, yeah, there might be some rain in the later half of the weekend, uh, but uh, I tend to wean off the forecast whenever there's no chance of storms. So, <laughs> You're uh, so uh, selfish, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I look for clear skies for the night sky stuff, you know, so All right, very the good. night sky. All right, well, well, hopefully we'll chat again. That's Martin McKenna, who's an amateur astronomer and a storm chaser as well. His website there is nightskyhunter.com. We have a couple of pictures uh, of his pictures up on our Facebook page, forward slash Sean Doherty Show. That's uh, Wednesday, Sean Doherty Show with me, Greg Hughes.